All praise due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, I will keep distracted from my signs those who beha behave arrogantly on earth without any rights, and who even if they witness every sign will not believe in them. They will not take the way of the right guidance if they see it, but will take the right of error if they see it. This is because they denied our signs and paid them no heed. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and that our Master Prophet Muhammad is his votary and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path till the day of judgment. The consequences of arrogance are dreadful in this life and in the hereafter. Whether those arrogant are individuals or nations, the fall of the arrogant and haughty nations is a repeated story in the history of human beings, and it will not change. The Almighty Allah said, The people of Ad behaved arrogantly throughout the land without any right, saying, Who could be stronger than us? Did they not realize that Allah who created them was stronger than them? They continued to reject our messages. So we let them we let a roaring wind loose on them for a few disastrous days to make them taste the punishment of shame in this world. More shameful still will be the punishment of this of the life to come and they will not be helped. Also Allah said many a town that insolently opposed the command of its Lord and his messengers. We have brought sternly to account. We punished them severely. <clears throat> Arrogance is the first sin to be committed against Allah, the exalted. When the Almighty Allah ordered the angels to, be, to bow down before Adam, they obeyed him except for Satan. Allah said, when we told the angels bow down before Adam, they all bowed, but not Iblis, who refused and was arrogant. He was one of the disobedient. Arrogant people are identified through their evil traits in the hereafter, as they used to be known for these traits in this life. The Almighty Allah says, and the people of the heights will call out to certain men they recognize by their marks. What use were your great numbers and your false pride? This is why Islam has warned against the evil consequences of arrogance, making it a gate to miss the mercy of Allah and put a severe punishment for the arrogant people, saying, The gates of heaven will not be open to those who rejected our revelations and arrogantly spurned them, even if a thick rope were to pass through the eye of a needle, they would not enter paradise. This is how we punish the guilty. Arrogance is a trait of the hearts, that a person may be poor but arrogant at the same time. Another one may be rich but humble and modest. The Prophet peace be upon him said, he who has in his heart the weight of a mustard seed of haughtiness shall not enter paradise. A man inquired, what about a person who likes to have fine dress and fine shoes? The Prophet replied, Allah is beautiful and likes beauty. Arrogance is, disclaim, is to disclaim truth out, out of self-esteem and to despise people. Arrogance is one of the most destructive social and psychological diseases that destroy one's personality and society as a whole. An arrogant person has over self-esteem and considers himself superior to the others. Allah said, there is nothing in their hearts but a thirst for greatness they will never attain. Although arrogance is a trait of the heart, it has manifestations that appear in one's conduct. These traits include committing sins out of haughtiness and the refusal to submit to the truth. The Almighty Allah said, when he is told, beware of Allah, his arrogance leads him to sin. Thus, the arrogant is driven by his pride and haughtiness to reject submission to the truth. Moreover, when others call him to the truth, he becomes more stubborn and arrogant. These traits also include turning one's face from people out of pride. 
This indicates despising others. Allah prohibited this action. As Luqman said to his son, do not turn your nose up at people, nor walk in land arrogantly, for Allah does not love arrogant or boastful people. These traits also include walking with haughtiness. The Almighty Allah said, do not trust arrogantly about do not strut arrogantly about the earth you cannot break it open nor match the mountains in height the evil of all these actions is hateful to your lord these traits also include boasting with one's properties which are blessings from allah the prophet peace be upon him said a man among those before you went out arrogantly with his clothes so allah ordered the earth to take him he will remain sinking into it until the day of judgment. Such arrogance may be demonstrated by one's clothes. It may be demonstrated with house decorations, cars, or having places for purposes of showing off. <laughs> These traits also include the refusal to sit with the poor and the weak out of despising them, as the policies during the time of the Prophet used to refuse to sit with the poor companions of the Prophet such as Bilal, Shu'aib, and Salman out of the spies. They said to the Prophet, drive them away so that they may not over bold upon us. Thus Allah revealed, and turn not away from those who invoke their Lord morning and afternoon seeking his face. Among the manifestations of haughtiness is to only invite the rich for a banquet and ignore the poor. Abu Huraira said, the worst food is that of a banquet to which only the rich are invited, while the poor are not invited. Also, intentionally keeping away from saying salam or salutation or shaking hands with those of lower status or to others is a sign of arrogance. Since it is against the Sunnah of the Prophet, peace be upon him, we used to start saying salam to the young and the elderly alike. It has been recorded in the hadith, when Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, happened to pass by young boys, he would greet, greet them. Another sign of arrogance is argumentation and abusiveness in conflicts. Muslims are indeed forbidden from avoiding speaking with their fellow Muslims beyond three days. As this indicates the termination of relations and spread of mischief and corruption. Also, Allah Most High will punish he <coughs> will punish him who does so in the hereafter. Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him says, "He who avoids speaking with his fellow Muslims beyond three days will be in the fire, unless Allah showers him with His mercy." <coughs> Arrogance was the reason why the polycists of, Mac of Mecca refused to embrace Islam and accept the notion of Tawheed or monotheism. Allah Most High says, indeed, they, when it is said to them, there is no deity but Allah, were arrogant, meaning that they used to reject to follow any other religion but that of their forefathers. In the same connection, arrogance was the reason why the Jews rejected to follow Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, though they perfectly knew that he is all truthful. Allah Most High says, Those to whom, to whom we gave the scripture know him as they know their own sons, but indeed a party of them conceals the truth while they know it. It is furthermore what made the, Christ, the children of Israel to belie their prophets and kill them. Allah the Almighty says, But it is not that every time a messenger came to you, all children of Israel, with what your souls did not desire, you were arrogant. <coughs> and a party of messengers you denied and another party you killed. Arrogance was actually the reason behind the disbelief and denial of the disbelievers from the ancient nations. Allah the Almighty says about Prophet Noah, <coughs> peace be upon him, and indeed, every time I invited them, that you may forgive them, they put their fingers in their ears, covered themselves with their garments, possessed and were arrogant with great arrogance. About the people of 
Prophet Salih Allah the Almighty says said the eminent ones who were arrogant among his people to those who were oppressed to those who believed among them do you actually know that Salih is sent from his Lord they said indeed in that with which he was sent we are believers said those who were arrogant indeed we in that with which he was sent we are disbelievers <clears throat> the treatment with for whosoever has been afflicted with the disease of arrogance is to cure their heart they must know that the exact position and status concerning them in the origin of this creation they were created out of nothing Allah created them from dust sperm clot and then from a sperm drop then from a clinging clot and then from a lump of flesh after which they became a thing even mentioned the arrogant person should know that he would be punished on the day of resurrection with what humiliates him Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said the proud will be gathered on the day of judgment resembling tiny particles in the image of men they will be covered with humiliation everywhere Allah Most High says that home of the hereafter we assign to those who do not desire exaltedness upon the earth or corruption and the best outcome is for the righteous with that said I ask Allah for forgiveness for me and for you all praise is due to Allah the Lord of all worlds I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that our master Prophet Muhammad is very a messenger Muslim brothers the signs of turning away from the way of Allah the Almighty include contradiction between sayings and actions falsely claiming idealism and peacefulness from among those who focus only on appearances and give superiority to appearance to the ultimate priority even if this is based on neglecting the true essence this is because a man of such kind whose behavior never complies with the teachings of religion is considered a tool of destruction and turning people away from the religion of Allah the Almighty the saying of the Prophet peace be upon him some of you make people dislike good deeds is truly applicable to such people so if, if man's appearance was that of the religiously committed person while he mistreats people tells lies practices treachery or unlawfully consumes people properties the matter is really serious and the person doing so comes under the category of the hypocrites the extremist groups can be given as an example here the same also applies to those who view that Islam is restricted to the acts of worship while they misunderstand Islam and adopt extremist views in declaring people disbelievers and carrying weapon against them as it was the case of al khawarij who were very committed to prayer fasting and night prayer yet they were not well versed in the shari'i knowledge that should have prevented them from shedding blood al khawarij thus carried weapons against people and had they sought after the true knowledge it would have prevented them from doing so because Islam is the religion of mercy meaning that anything that keeps you away from mercy keeps you away from Islam Oh Allah make us from those who adhere to the best manners and show a good example for people